Hi guys, I will be doing another reading um, and this time it's going to be on Elisa Lamb and this is requested by Doomshroom which I've been spoiling because this is the second time that I um, do one of your videos for suggestions. So Elisa Lamb guys, if some of you don't know, many of you already do know, but she was um, a... I believe she was originally from Canada. I'm not too sure. Please correct me if I am wrong. But she died in mysterious matters at the Los Angeles Cecile Hotel in February of 2013. And people say it had to do with something paranormal because she was acting very strange um, in the videos that they caught of her in the elevator and everything of that sort. So, I'm going to pull out my handy dandy protection crystals. As you can see, I have a lot. I have onyx, black tumbling, um, tumbled onyx, all the protection I can get, I have here. So, oh guys, the door, my door just got... <laughs> okay, that was scary. My door just did this weird noise it never did before, so... Um, now I'm a little freaked out, but we have a lot of protection around us. My moon water should protect us. And I'll be very honest, before reading, I always get feelings, and I'm not going to lie. I have some feelings towards this reading. I already have heavy feeling, heavy sad. I don't even want to feel sad, but I'm sad. So it's. It's, it's very unfortunate um, what happened to Elisa Lamb. And I'm pulling out the Santa Muerte Tarot, guys. So this, this tarot, Santa Muerte basically means death. And death is celebrated a lot in the Mexican tradition. When it comes to Dia de los Muertos, which is Day of the Dead. Ooh, these cards wanted to pop up. And... So it was inspired from that, from the Mexican culture. So we're going to go ahead and see Alyssa Lamb. Was it foul play? Was it foul play? Alyssa Lamb. Alyssa Lamb. And please, energy, guidance, angels, only show us the truth. The truth is nothing but the truth. One. Okay, so a bunch of cards came out, guys. Um, I feel like her her energies here. She got the Ten of Swords. Ten of Swords upside down. Mm. Two of Pentacles upside down. Let's flip these cards. High Priestess. Ooh, upside down. The Chariot. Chariot upside down, the sun upside down, the swords upside down. Oh my god, they're all upside down, and the emperor upside down, guys. Look at this seven of swords upside down, right? But look at the imagery on this, he's literally in his coffin. This is what I'm getting. Alyssa Lamb had a lot of mental health issues. She never really saw a happy day. She suffered a lot from mental health issues. This is what I'm receiving. I feel like someone took advantage of her. She did not die in paranormal circumstances. She did not die in paranormal circumstances. Guys, I don't... I remember the story a little bit. But I heard accident. I don't know if they found her body or not. I think, I, I think they did. 
the chariot. But it seems like she was in an altered state. She wasn't... She wasn't thinking correctly. She... It even seemed like she had like a... Like... Like a... What's it called? How is it called? You know how they say like a bad trip? But... It's not like a bad trip. It was kind of like a bad mental health day. Kind of trip. And... And that that really caused pain. Page of Swords. She would self-reflect a lot. Eight of Wands. The lovers. And I'm seeing she would was she dating someone? Because I'm seeing love in these decks. Um I'm seeing love in these decks. You see two two pentacles. I'm seeing the lovers upside down. It it almost seems like someone maybe told her to kill herself and or someone broke up with her and she was trying to get away from her thoughts and feelings and go on a trip and enjoy herself. Because, you know, you see Eight of Wands, you see all of this around the, the head. It's like she was going through mental health issues. And here we have the High Priestess upside down. So the High Priestess is a lot of times is about knowledge. It's a very knowledgeable woman. A woman who studies her craft. Who, who is spiritual. And it's upside down. So she was not within her... Like in her thoughts correctly because her faith wasn't with her either she had faith before but it was not there when she left when she departed so let's clarify that the high priestess what's going on why did we see the high priestess card why did we see the high priestess card one two three Queen of Cups. A very emotional woman. She was a very emotional woman. She couldn't control her emotions. She, but she, she could control her emotions. I'm sorry, but she loved. She loved deeply. She loved. Um, she loved so much. She has so much passion that w when she did not, when she did have a bad day with her emotions, it was a bad day, you know. But she could control it at the same time. So people thought she was normal. Um, but yeah, guys. That's what I'm seeing. I'm seeing that it was... It was like she had a bad mental health breakdown. That was triggered by a relationship that was over. Um, and it was like... It was like if she was just ready to go, you know? She gave up on... On... The, that last day, she gave up. She only needed a little bit of hope, and she would have lived. So, I'm going to take out the Karma cards, and hopefully this can help us just see why this happened. Spirit, please give us some guidance to help us understand. What is in the astrology of the karma cards? You know, tarot usually tells you the future, so it's funny how we always, sometimes we ask about the past. One, two, three, four, seven, stop. In the 11th house, freedom, associations, your circle of friends. So interesting in the 12th house seeking oneness with all there is philanthropy keep your involvement hidden final card in the ninth house spiritual values long range thinking or travel what is to be shared you see guys 
you see how she got the high priestess in the previous deck so here she's getting philanthropy spir spiritual values seeking oneness with herself she was n not with aligned with her spiritual self um she could have been and she would have been very much mentally healthier and the sad thing is she just wasn't um and due to this this is what came to her ultimate end and she was so much in her thoughts her me mental health was just not well that's all i see right now that's all i see fairy tale land on So yeah, guys, if I'm saying Lenormand wrong, I apologize. I really do. So last deck. Melissa Lamb. Melissa Lamb. Melissa Lamb. One, two, three. Stop. Ooh, card fell. Lady. dog an anchor so you know what I'm getting with this card guys this deck before I read what it means <sighs> she was stuck an anchor is heavy an anchor is something that it's hard to to get off the ground or the, the seafloor. She felt stuck. She felt like there was no way back up. The dog, loyalty. This is interesting that the dog came out. Because for me, a dog <laughs> doesn't have anything to do with like an Alyssa Lamb kind of thing. And Lady Upside Down. I feel like she was living to please others. That's where the dog comes from. Um, that's what I'm getting. She was living to please others. So let's see. Dog. I don't know why. I just want to read the dog one first. It says. Trust, loyalty, friends, dependability. And the, in the elephant and the dog, the sultan's elephant stopped eating when his loyal companion was taken away. The sultan is very upset when his favorite pachyderm nearly dies without his, can, with his, without his canine companion. No one understood the nature of support the dog gave to his jumbo friend, but the dog is returned just in time. Here we see the dog and elephant sharing a meal in the jeweled bowl. Oh, I didn't even notice that. The elephant reaches in to reassure himself that his world is right again. He eats with the dog because he feels safe. Dog approved himself to be a trustworthy, reliable companion, even when he was tossed aside by others. The dog card is someone you can count on when the things get rough. If you have difficulty cards close to this one, this dog is the one to look for help oh dogs look for help guys trust is a key quality in, his, in this card a nearby person card signifies someone you have a comfortable sustaining friendship with like dog they will always have your best interest at heart the dog shown isn't okay so if you notice guys the lady is right next to the dog that's how she came out um so let's see what the lady means There are two versions of the lady. You can choose the princess or the peasant, as you like. The lady is the quintessential feminine figure of the land of fairy tales. The princess needs her love match in all the classic tales. She is the one who makes the hero yearn to be better. 
Feminist leanings aside, the lady represents the feminine side of life. Here, our princess wears a gown featuring purple, one of the colors associated with royalty. She dresses to influence those around her, around her own. In the peasant lady, we feature Cinderella. Remember that no matter if our lady is a servant or a princess, her role in the tale is important. Her presence in the Lenormand deck is straightforward. If you question, if your question is for a woman, if it is for a man, she is the woman in his life, for the one he is looking for. Pay attention to her hands. Is she reaching for a particular card? Who or what is she looking at? What card will be significant? That card will be significant in any reading about love. But this is not, I, you know, I think maybe this is about love, but she has someone on her mind and this person was like a loyal person i think she broke up with some guys i think she broke up with someone that was loyal to her and was like keeping her sane and then they broke up and then that's when you know she just had a mental breakdown so guys let me know if you like this longer reading um i know i've had some people tell me that my readings are too short but that's because it takes a long time to upload on YouTube. So, if you guys want me to do longer readings or you like, like, the five-minute readings, let me know in the comments below. And, yeah, the crime readings are sometimes a little scary, but I'm willing to do them. So, if you want more, let me know. Bye.